Hey everyone, welcome back to another in-depth discussion in today's video. We're diving headfirst into a crucial topic that's generating quite a buzz social security. The urgency of this conversation is amplified by lawmakers actively exploring potential increases and comprehensive reforms. The stark reality? We're staring down the barrel of a mere 10 years before the Social Security Trust faces insolvency, ratcheting up the pressure on finding viable solutions. Recent reports are painting a vivid picture, suggesting that even a five-year delay in implementing reforms could lead to panic, forcing Congress to make decisions they'd rather avoid. The clock is ticking, and the urgency to address Social Security's impending insolvency is becoming more apparent with each passing day. The prevailing expectation is that Congress will take decisive action within the next year. But why the sudden rush? The answer lies in the looming presidential election. Both Democrats and Republicans are strategically positioning themselves to demonstrate bipartisan efforts. Democrats want to showcase their commitment to social welfare, while Republicans aim to assure their constituents about the preservation of Social Security. It's a high-stakes political maneuver with the impending election as the backdrop. Now let's unpack the million-dollar question. What will this reform actually entail? Get ready, it's a labyrinth. The White House is fervently pushing for enhancements to the child tax credit, potentially a substantial $3,600 per year per child. The ongoing debate over the frequency of payments, whether monthly or otherwise, adds another layer of complexity. On the flip side, the imminent expiration of the Trump tax cuts in 2025 is casting a shadow. Republicans are advocating for an extension, injecting another layer of intricacy into an already complex scenario. The timeline is tight. Social Security is expected to undergo changes or reforms within the next year. The outcome largely hinges on which political party holds the majority post the next presidential election. However, it's not just about who holds the reins. There's a risk of a waiting game, with one party delaying action until the other takes charge edging us perilously closer to Social Security insolvency. Proposed solutions include an increase in Social Security taxes. The current tax cap of $160,200 might see an adjustment to $168,600, reflecting the impact of inflation. However, there's a consensus that this alone might not suffice to keep Social Security's trust solvent. Additionally, there's talk of raising the full retirement age, impacting individuals in their 20s and 30s, potentially deferring retirement to age 68 or 69, accompanied by a corresponding 7% reduction in lifetime benefits for each year of delay. Here's a stark reality. Both political parties seem reluctantly accepting the prospect of Social Security cuts if procrastination continues to rule the day. It's a challenging scenario that calls for bipartisan cooperation, but as history tells us, that's often easier said than done. Moreover, Amid these high-stakes discussions, there are still states and cities sitting on substantial amounts of unspent COVID relief funds. This adds another layer of complexity, with a deadline looming January 1, 2025. If these funds remain unutilized, the Federal Reserve may demand their return, injecting a sense of urgency and complexity into an already intricate situation. In summary, Social Security is facing a crucial situation with only 10 years left before potential insolvency. Lawmakers are discussing reforms, and the urgency is linked to the upcoming presidential election. Proposals include changes to the child tax credit and the expiration of the Trump tax cuts. Congress is expected to act within the next year, but there's a risk of delays depending on the political landscape. Solutions like increased Social Security taxes and raising the retirement age are being considered, but challenges remain. Unspent COVID relief funds add complexity, with a deadline of January 1, 2025. The situation is evolving, and I'll keep you updated. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates.